Well, this is based on machine uh, learning and on artificial intelligence. So what we use is we use mathematical tools, which we call classifiers. And these classifiers learn what specific object looks like. So in the learning phase, basically, you have to show this classifier examples for all of different types of fabrics where we actually know the outcome. It's a bit like walking around in a city and showing your child, look, this is a dog, look, this is a cat. And we do the same thing with the machine. And so the machine learns how, for instance, a fabric that was generated in the 18th century looks like. And then at test time, we apply this machine to a new image and then it will predict, well, at which epoch, at which historical epoch it was generated, where it was generated or whatever, depending on what we've shown the machine before. So the machine can only learn what we tell it. Well, again, this is about learning, right? So we have to show the computer examples of pairs of images for which we know that they are similar or not. So we need to have some definition of what makes images uh, similar. And this again is input. So somebody has to decide beforehand that pairs of images look similar and other pairs do not look similar in terms of some concept. So this may be visually similar, but it may also be similar in terms of, well, these images were generated in a, a similar epoch or something like this. And then yet again, once the machine sees these examples, then it can actually learn a representation of these images using some mathematical mumbo jumbo, so to speak. We call them neural networks. And um, once it has learned this, it can then take a new image and produce this representation and then look for the most similar representation in a database we would have generated in the first place. Well, geodesists tend to be related or very closely related to applications of mapping. So our main purpose in the past has been to uh, produce maps. When we, use, when we want to produce maps, what we usually do is we take some kind of image, let it be an aerial or a satellite image, and we classify it. And so here we use the same mathematical concepts. We also new, use neural networks for predicting, in this case, for each pixel of a satellite or aerial image, what type of object is visible in there. So whereas the application is rather different from mapping, as a matter of fact, we are using the same methodology here. And that's how we come into play.